and we are cooking with you this morning. Alyssa Kirkpatrick is here with me. You work at a dental office in Green Bay. I do, yes. I work at Midwest Dental in Alloway. Shout out to all my coworkers. Hey. <laughs> um, so you also love to cook. Not I do. only are you manager, you love to cook. And yes. we're making some great game day dips. Yes. What are we doing right now? Right now we are doing a corn chorizo dip. Okay. Right now we're melting uh, two ounces of crumbled blue cheese one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. I The recipe calls for Mexican cheese, but I like the, the bite of the sharp cheddar. Okay. And then a half a cup of sour cream. So it looks like it's getting melted pretty well. So then what we're gonna do is um, a chopped jalapeno pepper. And it calls for two, but I'm only gonna do one. Okay. Um, just for spiciness sake. Um, make sure you wear gloves when you're doing this, otherwise you will be in trouble. Um, and then mixed into that, we're going to do, actually I have some fresh corn here from one of my friends from work. Um, it's two ears of corn. So we're just gonna dump that in there. And then actually I'm not gonna do quite the entire container here. Okay. So then we're just gonna mix that until it's incorporated. Um, and then I actually like to cook in cast iron because we do need to broil this. Oh. And so it's nice because it's all in one and everything heats through really nicely there. Okay. So um, kind of a different dip. Some people are a little afraid of blue cheese, um, but this actually gives it some nice great little, flavor. Nice little bite as yeah. it's spilling that's the okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yep. So it looks like we're all good there. Okay. So then what we're going to do is if you want to pull it off the heat here, I'm just going to take this here from you and then we'll just kind of spread it around here like this, kind of get it even across here. And then if you want to sprinkle some of that chorizo oh, on top sure. of there. So where can people find chorizo? Because it's a little spicier, right? It is, and actually the local grocery stores around here all carry it. Um, some of them will carry it like in a package. I was able to get mine fresh actually from Cops, um, the links, and it's actually quite inexpensive. Um, and you do want to remove the casings. Okay. So um, luckily I have some, some help. Um, my husband, Andy, he likes to... Uh, help me out with cooking meat because I don't particularly like to touch mm -hmm. raw chicken and things yeah. like that. So he helps me out with that stuff. What a wonderful husband. Yep, so then just like that and then you pop it in the broiler for three minutes. Okay, um, what the best part is, Alyssa shared all of the recipes with us. She gave them to us, we posted them on our website. Mm -hmm. We have a Facebook page. I do. That's so cool. It's yes. called Kitchen a la Kirkpatrick. Yes. What can people find on there? All sorts of things. Um, anybody who's on that page will realize that I absolutely love anything Mexican. I love Mexican food. Um, I love casseroles, cheese. You know, you have to love cheese in Wisconsin here, but I also love to make desserts. So I like to post the recipes when I'm making them, and then I'll go and give a review on afterwards. Let's pull up a quick picture of you and your family. It's absolutely adorable. This one at the Packers game. Yes, yep. Tell Packer me about family this. night. Um, first time Archer was ever at Lambeau. Uh, my son, he is going to be five in January, and um, he was just blown away. So excited being in there. So we were, we had a lot of fun. We have more pictures to show you in the eight o'clock hour of the Kirkpatrick family, but look at this dip. It looks absolutely delicious. We're gonna taste that coming up here. Recipes are online. Another dip in the eight o'clock hour. You won't wanna miss it. Good day, Wisconsin, we'll be right back.